but this is just an, this is an ideal situation for an HD poncho. You know, make yourself extra comfortable. Uh, you know, you come in, come in here, get stranded out somewhere, you're out hunting or whatever, and you're going to have to spend the night now, you're not going to make it back. You know, pitch this thing up like this, throw you some boughs in there like this. I mean, I'm not kidding you, it is so comfortable in the bottom of here with those boughs. It's just... <laughs> Now some people had, had recently commented that they'd seen one of my, my old, actually original survival blanket. And it's uh, ACU on one side, OD green on the other side. And this one's small, we don't make anything this small uh, anymore. This is six feet by six feet. And at the time I was trying to figure out what's the smallest size I could get away with and a blanket and so I was kind of playing with this size but anyway so there's a couple ways I could do just a small blanket like this or you know anything you've got you know I'm taking care of most of the underneath of me making that good so now it's really just kind of worrying about the top of me and my chest area so there's a couple ways I could do this if I were using a blanket like this I could wrap it around my body like this and get in there so I do have a wrap underneath me and on top and typically I would do you notice what I'm doing here normally everybody are going to just wrap up evenly right but you really want to have a good cover over you don't have to fiddle with in the night so I want to I want to wrap up lopsided a lot on one side and a very little on the other that way when I'm laying in the hammock I have enough to lay over the top of me and I don't have to fight with it all night trying to keep it on me. Just showing you some options that you can do with a poncho in a, in a pinch to, to get yourself a comfortable sleep in, you know, you get stranded out somewhere in some colder weather than maybe you're prepared for. This is an option that you could do. All right, so now you see I've got very little hanging on this side. Everything else is laying over the other side here. So now as I get into this thing, what I want to do is just kind of grab that temporarily just a little bit as I kind of sit down in here because I don't want to, I want to keep this over here. Okay, now I turn and lay back. I pop up the side right here. I do want a little bit of blanket on this side. You know, the, the other thing here is none of our gear here is so delicate that you have to really worry about what we're doing here. I mean, the poncho, HD poncho, cordura nylon, plenty sturdy, nothing to worry about. Uh, I don't know, I, I would probably not hesitate too much to do this with almost any of our ponchos other than maybe the ultralight. I don't know. But they're still nylon, so actually they're pretty, pretty puncher resistant, you know. But and everything kind of wrapped up the side, and everything underneath me has the addition of all the pine boughs. Okay, and again, I use some pine boughs, but you could use juniper boughs. You could use almost anything. You could use dried grass. You could use leaves, or or even I don't know any kind of any kind of fluffy debris you can find, really. Uh, other than poison ivy or something <laughs> you could put in here and you know to make a difference now I just flip this side up over like this now you see that even with this little uh, six by six small blanket it's plenty to do me in this kind of situation you know if I needed to I mean you just do whatever you have to if I needed to I could take this hammock right here and I could fill it absolutely clear full of boughs so that when I get in it, I, I almost burrow down into it a little bit, you know. So I could get away with, I could get away with very little uh, extra clothing or sleeping blankets or something like that if I really had to. I don't need to bring as much with me to stay warm and comfortable. This thing right here will really do the trick for me. It's comfortable anyway with a hammock, right? But you just add that. It's just, just that extra 
insulation off of the fabric itself just really makes a nice difference. A couple of factors we're dealing with here is that the, the hammock gives you that nice shape here that's very comfortable for sleeping. You're up off the knobby ground. Uh, the boughs that you put in here, whatever kind of material, you're, you're purposely selecting very soft materials so they're not adversely affecting you know what you're laying on so so that doesn't that's not impacting you at all and um, and the shape of the of the hammock shape here is keeping all those materials together uh, where normally moving around much you're gonna shift that stuff around you are gonna have to kind of redo your bed this keeps everything together you don't have to you can get I've been in and out of here a ton of times you've only seen a few of them on camera <laughs> but everything is still staying pretty well situated I'm, I'm not having to hardly adjust anything you know just a little bit a little bit of shifting in the ends here tiny bit but other than that I mean everything is pretty much staying nicely in place because of the shape here so that's really a big big plus uh, and using this type of setup to get you through a little cold weather snap or something you know so anyway, it's another little, another little peek at what you can do with some of our gear. And uh, you know, take a look at it. If you've already got some of our gear, give this kind of stuff a try. But anyway, have a great time in the outdoors. I always do. Uh, I'm looking forward to sleeping in a setup like this and, uh, and uh, running it through the night, especially I think come fall or something like that as the weather cools off. Just try to see what I can do with this. I really feel confident that this setup here is going to get me, uh, I think even with this small blanket and this setup right here, I think I could, I think that I could get into the 20s in this setup right here. So anyway, uh, take care. See you on the next go around. Once again, Perry Teacock, Wilderness Innovations.